children. Welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice! Now, I'm going to begin my performance tonight with something slightly different for me. It's an item from my classical repertoire. I would like to recite for you a little poem by one of our greatest poets, William Wordsworth. Thank you. <laughs> the boy stood on the burning deck. <laughs> he was feeling rather tottery. It wasn't the sea that made his legs shake, it was the thought that he might win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> it's the night, tonight is the big night! Oh, you've all been waiting for, with tingling anticipation, the night of the big draws. And I don't mean Mrs. Bouquet's. <laughs> Or Gertie's. <laughs> anyway, it's time to meet a young lady who's a winner every week with our audiences. Ladies and gentlemen, the gorgeous, the lovely lottery board. Uh, <laughs> Rose <laughs> Rosemary Ford. Yes. You look a gog with anticipation. Well, you know, I can't wait for tonight, Bruce. Why, where are we going? Mm. <laughs> I mean the draw for the National Lottery. Oh, have you bought a ticket? Oh, yes, I've had a little flutter. Well, we all have, but have you bought a ticket? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What would you do if you won? Oh, that's easy. I'd buy a little place in the country. Oh, that's nice, a mm. little place in the country. Yes. Hampshire. Hampshire? <laughs> <laughs> well, why not, I suppose? Why not? But what would you do if you won? Oh, no chance of me winning at all. No chance. I'll be, I'm the only person who ever backed Red Rum to win the boat race. Oh, <laughs> shame. Shame, yes. <laughs> but, you know, actually, somebody in our audience could be the winner. Yes, they could. You're right. Ooh. And what a lovely audience they are. What charming, <laughs> delightful people. <laughs> You're not an audience as far as I'm concerned. You're my... Very dear, very close friends. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce. What? Embarrassing. Well, for goodness sake, you were. I'm not proud. So I'm a crawler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have no more talk about the lottery. I agree. Yes, right. Away you go. Introduce the contestants. Right. Our first contestants tonight are from Stoke on Trent. They both work in a pottery and they bought tickets for the lottery. Rosie! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought you'd sneak one in. <laughs> What's the matter? Something's gone wrong. Right, OK, introduce the first two. Right, they're from Lancashire. They're father and daughter, Jeff and Jessica Curry. Right. <laughs> You are Jessica Curry. Curry, yes, and you're engaged to David. Yes, that's yes. Right. tell us about the proposal. Um, well, it's at a barbecue at my auntie's house, yeah. and he just dropped down on one knee and. Oh, he, 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 he dropped down on one knee. Yeah. Why did he drop his sausage? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was searching for his sausage. He proposed. Yes, oh, right. I get so emotional. That's fine. <laughs> Special talents have you got? Um, I get lost wherever I go. I failed my Duke of Edinburgh award because oh. um, we went to the Lake District, mm -hmm. and I was the team leader and um, I led my team due south instead of due north. Oh. And you, had be, you had to be rescued at the end that of the day. That is a shame. So you uh, failed your Duke of Edinburgh yeah. award. Yes. But why didn't they give you the Mark Thatcher award? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's gone now. It started, but then it went. <laughs> Right, now, have you got any pets? Um, I've got a fish. A fish? Oh, yeah, good, called yeah. Mate. Um, and when we found out we were coming on the Generation Game, yeah. we cut a picture of you out, Bruce, and stuck it next to the fish tank, and the fish has actually fallen in love with you. Sounds like a lost soul. <laughs> 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 Did he make lots of little bubbles when he goes... <laughs> <laughs> Over now to your dad, Jeff. Curry. Cur another curry, of course. And you're married to Catherine, who says you have an appalling memory. What's her name again? Um, uh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's <laughs> Just nothing, right. Now, what's all this about trouble with a cyclist? I'm driving the car one day and using my hand as signals. To, I went to turn right, put my hand out through the window and stuck my finger right down the cyclist's ear. <laughs> <laughs> right down the ear, yeah. So what do you now? Shout out the window, I'm going right here. <laughs> Any special talents have you got? Yes, I can empty a pub in 30 seconds by singing. <laughs> <laughs> can you really? 
gun, yes. Oh, we're going to have some of this, then. Into camera five, then. Away you go. <laughs> Who killed Cock Robin? I said the sparrow with my bow and arrow. I killed Cock Robin. Oh, the birds of the air were and they saw it when they heard of the death of poor Cock Robin. When they heard of the death of oh, Robin. Yeah. Well, well no, the, uh, you see, the nearest pub from here is in Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> it's about half a mile away, so we'll have to wait to see if it works. <laughs> but we will keep you in touch with it. All right, Jeff. Thank you for being here. You know, don't break into any other songs unless I ask. <laughs> there we are, fine. They're nice people. <laughs> what we got there? Our second teens from the West Midlands, their mother and son, Joan and Richard Hughes. Right. <laughs> Oh, you are Joan Hughes. Hughes, and what do you do? I'm a secretary. Oh, I see, and you're married to Raymond for how long? 36 years. 36 years? And I don't remember breaking five mirrors. Oh, you don't remember <laughs> breaking five mirrors? Well, that's nice. Uh, tell us about the honeymoon. The honeymoon, we couldn't afford much. We went to London, came to London for yes. three days. Yes. And uh, we went to see Michael Miles take a pick. Was it a special show? Was it, it was a honeymoonish show. Oh, a honeymoonish yes. show. So you went back to the hotel and played the yes no interlude on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Were there more yeses than noes? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Right, now what's all this about uh, four rum and black carrots? <laughs> what happened there? Uh, well, I don't normally drink, that's true. <laughs> oh, I see, yes, if I. And uh, we went to a local dance where my brother was playing, he's got a band. Yes, yes. And at the end of the night, he got on the piano and he played the stripper. Oh. And I responded to the music by going to the back of the curtain and doing a strip. But nobody saw anything. It was just family and friends, but I just sort of did it behind the curtain. Oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> <laughs> We haven't got four rum and black currants down there yet. <laughs> but maybe if one of the games doesn't work, you might have done it. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. You see, he doesn't miss a trick up there, our sound man. Yes. Now, over to your son, Richard. Uh, Hughes. Hughes again. Yes, and what do you do? I'm a window fitter. A window fitter? Well, you shouldn't yes. be on this show. You should be on You've Been Framed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you'll be putty in my hands. Right. <laughs> now you're engaged. Oh, you're engaged as well. To Tina. That's right. To Tina. Now, where are you getting married? Las Vegas. Oh, good Make place sure. for a honeymoon. <laughs> the city that never sleeps. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> now, as your work takes you to people's homes, have you any comments about that? Because, you know, you're dealing with the people all the time. Well, um, sometimes people are quite mean. Um, sometimes we get quite thirsty, and so I often have to ask them if the kettle's broke. <laughs> So, as the kettle broke, because... Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I can honestly say this, yeah, hand on my heart, if any tradesman comes to my house, I always give them a drink. Tea, 50p, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a vending machine in the hall. <laughs> now, any ambitions have you got? Um, the ambition, really, is to finish the house, which oh, means yes, you've board. Doing, been doing a lot of it. Do it yourself. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Noise in it. Yeah. And, um... Luckily for me, Tina's been a good grouter and stripper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. You were nearly away there, weren't you? The shoulder was coming off, I can see it. Anyway, thank you for being here. Nice people again. Now, before our first game, I'd just like to remind you that our contestants have no idea what we have planned for them. They do not rehearse. This is your rehearsal. Our first game is called Beefcake. Please welcome the Amtrak London Olympians. <laughs>
That's all there is to it. <laughs> get out of it. Get there. Go on. Go. And by the way, shouting all the instructions was the former player and present coach for the Great Britain squad, Cliff Morgan. Get out of it. Thank you very much. That gives me a bit of work. All right. All of a sudden, I, I feel quite inadequate. <laughs> How tall are you, man? About six foot six. About six foot six. I used to be six foot six. <laughs> when I was 21. <laughs> yeah, but you shrink as you get older, you know. <laughs> yes, we're now, uh, here we are. Uh, ten, uh, <laughs> trying to find my lottery number. <laughs> Couple ready? There we are. Now we're. That's it. You just here and you just there, right? Fine. What? I must get a blancmange for the weekend. <laughs> now you watch him. You see, like a hawk, everything he does. You watch that one over there. I'll be ready now. We're ready now for beefcake take two. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? drops I've got there. <laughs> and don't forget, the shouting is just as important as the physical. <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you like to make a phone call? Right. <laughs> We're ready now for Beefcake Take 3. Who are we? Yeah. Who are we? Yeah. Who are we? Catch that! Me! Yes! Wait till you see that. 
Oh dear, now to judge this we have the president of the Amtrak London Olympians, Mr. Philip Andres. <laughs> What a grand lot of lads you got there. They, uh, they did well. Oh, I they? tell you, they, they, well. they really, really did. Now, our, our first couple over here. Um, I was so impressed. Yes. You attacked it right from the very start. Yes. With aggression. Jeff, when you did the hit in the floor, you got it off pat. That was really good. And Jessica, you were really good on the thigh slap. So, so what about marks? marks for Jeff? Nine. Well, well done. And for Jessica, eight. Thank well you. done indeed. Lovely, lovely. Good mark. Now, what about over here? Good move. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Richard had a very good try. Uh, Joan was a little bit reticent when they came to the hitting the floor bit. Yeah, yeah. bless her heart. But you got the moves yeah. very she good. She was giving very away very a few good. years there. Not quite so aggressive, though, and, yeah. and for American football, yeah. you have to be. But she looked good in the strip. But looked excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so and for Mark, yes. for Richard, eight. Yeah, all good. And for Joan, seven. Ah, very good indeed. You have a great fan of football. Good luck for next season. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you for being with us and bye thank bye. your gentlemen. Bye bye. There we are, Philip Andrews. There we are. Yeah. 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 on the board, Miss Hall. Jeff and Jessica have 17, Joan and Richard have 15. Fine. Well, now, I, there we are. Well done. So there's only a couple of there. Now, we've just heard from that pub in Shepherd's <laughs> Bush, Jeff. Not only cleared the pub, but all the shops around it. <laughs> Isn't that marvellous? So pop yourselves over there and take all that stuff off. Go on, get it all off you. Now, our second game is called Cut It Out. But first of all, feast your eyes on this. All those delightful creatures were made by our very good friend, Megumi Biddle. <laughs> To see you, mate. <laughs> right. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. There'll be questions asked when I get home, but don't worry. <laughs> the book, you've just uh, done a book with your husband, Stephen. Yes. And, um, uh, yes? Yes, I have so, several books, but this year I have first book, my picture book. Oh, it's yes. It's called Lovely Japanese Traditional Folk Story. A folk story, yeah. like, like a sort of a fairy tale. Oh, yes. Does it have a happy ending? Oh, um, Oh, don't that? tell me. Don't tell me. All right. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Over you all come. And I know you'll be fascinated to watch this close at hand. And we want you to try and guess what Megumi's going to do for us this series. So away you go, my love. OK. First of all, fold paper in half. OK. Start with half oval sort of shape. There we go. By the way, did you notice no pencil lines on that paper? No pencil lines at all. I must tell you all that, especially you people at home, because uh, it's just an ordinary, plain piece of paper, as we all saw there. Any idea what it is? No? A what? A kangaroo. A lizard. A lizard? Well, we'll just see. We'll just see. Not bad guesses to start with, actually. Now then. Uh -huh. Try and remember all this. It's tricky, isn't it? <laughs> My goodness, it's good. Any idea now? First of all... You think it's a kangaroo still? Well, yes? Ah, dinosaur. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. You don't get any points for that. <laughs> what a shame. But watch this, watch this. Backwards. Okay. Isn't it wonderful? Hold it. Look, look. Forward. I mean. Oh. There's a tail. My little boy Just loves dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and last of all... Yes. For this you have to have breakfast with a dinosaur. <laughs> Together. Then. There you are. Now look at yep. that. Isn't that yes. absolutely. <laughs> I remember on Record Breakers, you know, dear, our dear Roy's show, uh, you achieved the record for the largest yeah. piece of origami in the world, yes. a life-size dinosaur. Now, can you imagine how big that, how long did it take? Uh, myself and my husband and yeah. two friends together, we spent two days. Two days doing this all out of paper, are there? And what size was the piece of paper? Uh, start with 28 metres square. 28 metres square. Yeah. Okay. And the finish is a, which made a pterodactyl. It's a flying reptile. It is. Oh, yes. <laughs> which is wingspan, about 10 metres wide. 10 metres wingspan. Can you imagine how big it was? Oh, well, that's wonderful. Well, will you come back and do some marking? Yeah. Save that for JJ. Right, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over you come to your tables. You get to the far one. 
That's it. Good. Now then, you've got about one and a half minutes to make your dinosaur starting from now. And try and remember everything that Megumi did. It was a tricky one. Glad you brought your glasses. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not so sure. All right. I tell you, it isn't easy at all. I bet you wish you were back with the American football team. <laughs> <laughs> There's certainly lots of cutting going on. Oh. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds left, yes. 30. <laughs> you were going the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, what a shame, you see. That's right, you're on the right thing now. But what's going to happen? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. That's a shame. <laughs> Ten seconds to go, so finishing touches and try and make it stand up if you can at the end. <laughs> Try and get it to stand. If you, uh, see if you can stand it up somehow. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Wherever okay. you're up to, stop wherever you're up to. And Megumi, come back quick and see if you can sort this out. What a mess. <laughs> Now, watching <laughs> prehistoric. It's prehistoric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Try to be kind. Yeah. <laughs> I think I give him a five out of ten. Just five out of ten, probably <laughs> all it's <laughs> worth. All right. Five out of ten. Now, this is, uh, well, maybe <laughs> it was a little baby one. <laughs> yes, you didn't get his, his tails there, you see, yeah. but uh, and his hands are there. <laughs> Well, what, what do you, what do you, it's like a, a frog, isn't it? Yes. Uh, what do you think? Uh, but I think that this one has got more detail. To more detail, give, and, the, and, the, yeah. and the hands are very good, aren't point they? Okay. Six points. Well done indeed. Well done indeed. <laughs> yeah. Which way up is it? <laughs> is that the way up? No, that's the tail. Oh, that's his head. So that's his uh, tail. But he's, I mean, he looks, he needs supporting, doesn't he? <laughs> that's what he needs. It just doesn't stand up. It's no, he doesn't you know. stand up. No, I mean, <laughs> it's flipping useless, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but there we are. What yes. do you think? I give for five points. Five, five points as well. That's about as, as bad as the first one. <laughs> I see. And, uh, well, this one... Looks like an American footballer, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Who are we? Olympians! <laughs> Olympians! <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the first detail is I've got head and hands the and head, yeah, tail. Head and head, yes. Every detail I've got. Yeah. And then it's the best it, one of the lot. Yes. You know, let's best, face it. Yeah. I mean, not much to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> it is the best. So, yeah. what do you think? Uh, shall I give it for seven points? Seven for that one. OK, well done. Thank you, Richard. And the TV. Good luck with it. Good. I love you, you're on, Stephen. Thank you for being with us today. We couldn't do a series without you. Thank you for doing the Jeff and Jessica have 28. 20. Joan and Richard have 27. Oh, bad luck. <laughs> Only one in it. There were more. We are sorry to lose you. We really are. But you will be getting a generation game telephone, each of you. And thank you for being such wonderful fun tonight. You've been <laughs> really you. lovely. And we'll see you in our grand final, which is coming up. Which is coming up the grand final. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the, can you do that off there, please? <laughs> you can't control this. All this time. Uh, and who's our next team? Uh, well, they're from Sussex, their mother and son, Chris and Darren Goldsmith. Right. Good, good. Now, you are Chris Housewife and you're a goldsmith. No, Bruce, I'm Chris Goldsmith and I'm a housewife. Anyway, now you're in your better state. Don't worry about it. You're married to Charlie for 34 years. My yes, goodness. Sir. And tell us about the wedding. 
Um, well, I arrived at the church in my finery. Oh, yes. And Charlie was standing there with his suit on and a blue hand-knitted tank top on because his mother had told him it was cold. <laughs> Mortified to see him in this woolly. <laughs> mortified to see him in the woolly, yes. Well, were you more mortified when you saw him in the noddy? Anyway, <laughs> I, hope he, uh, I hope he didn't get cold feet, that's all I have. Tell us about the wedding night. <laughs> well, we spent our first night at his parents' house. Oh, no. And at his... his parents' house? Oh, what bad luck. <laughs> but the worst part was his yeah. uncle lived there, oh, too, yeah. Yeah. and he took the mickey out of us all night long, so we couldn't have any fun. Well, he wasn't under the bed, was he? <laughs> He didn't, he didn't spring it on you, <laughs> but he does sound a handful. Over now to your son, Darren. Yes, that's right. Goldsmith as well. Yep. Fine. And you're married to uh, Rachel. That's right. Where did yep. you meet her? Well, we met in Gospel, and yep. uh, we started seeing each other, and uh, we split up. Yeah. I uh, went down to see her and took a, a single of uh, Stand By Me by Benny King. Oh, yeah, nice. And uh, she played it and started crying, and we got back together again. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so romantic. I love those kind of things. Tell us all about the proposal, then. Yeah, that was on Christmas Day in the yeah. morning. I put on um, All My Love by Jackie Wilson. Oh. We got down on one knee. Yeah. And... Uh, Started the proposal and we yeah. both started crying and she oh, lovely. eventually started started crying again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was so emotional. <laughs> I love it. You see, there's not enough of that in the world. To music, to music oh, yes. exactly. Yeah. Lovely. And uh, tell us all about your, your stag night then. All oh, right. Well, well yeah. <laughs> I, I love all this. Some, uh, I love being nosy. <laughs> when I was some friends yeah. and we uh, went out and had a few drinks. Yeah. When I was staggering along the road. Yeah. And uh, Rachel was coming sort of down in the opposite direction and found me and uh, took me home and put me to bed. Oh. <laughs> and did you cry yourself to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> How many ambitions have you got? Well, yes, I like uh, the old uh, musicals uh, like Gene Kelly and that. And oh, yeah, yeah. You, you like and Rosie stuff? are the best in the business. I'd like oh. you to teach me a time step. You'd like Rosie and I to teach yeah, you the time step? Yeah, you might. Oh, would you mind just stepping back a bit? It'll be our, over there, if you will. It'll be our pleasure. Thank you. Have you ever tap danced before? Uh, a little bit. When a I little bit. OK, well, the time step, this is how it goes. A one, two, three, four. All right, that's it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, all right, well, let's it's do it a bit slower. Okay. All right, you do <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, hop, step. Flat ball change. No, have you got any talent at all? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do anything? Um, this one. What? You can do the splits! <laughs> right, but where are you going to have here? The old, go there, go there, do it. Th oh! Oh! No. There, good. All right. Do you want to make a wish? <laughs> you, you already made one. We <laughs> <You should. laughs> we're serving you right, we're showing off. Come on! <laughs> Our fourth team's from Essex. Their father and daughter, Laurie and Kay Pithers. Right. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? Fine. Now you are Kay? Pithers. Yes, sir. What was that? <laughs> Kay Pithers. No, fine, thank you. <laughs> and you're engaged to Jamie? Yes. Jamie, and what's all this about a long-distance romance? Oh, was it was it really romantic? Yes. All right. Well, look. You know, it'd be rather nice if we if we put a bit of music to this. Okay. The audience. Uh, there's such an emotional crowd tonight. <laughs> you know, it would just be lovely. So cue music. Creep in gently. Okay. Bye. Well, you see, it started when he worked in Germany. I used to go to France. He used to drive through Germany, Holland, Belgium, into France, come and pick me up, drive back through France into Holland, through Belgium, back to Germany. Oh. And then on Sunday, we drive back through Germany, Holland, France, <laughs> Belgium, and then I'd have to get on the ferry and come home again. Oh, that is lovely, that is lovely. Just a minute, just a minute, look at that audience. <laughs> they couldn't care less. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a waste of time that was. I thought that would have really got them. Anyway, um, have you any irritating habits? Yes, I talk too much. I like a good chin wag. Oh, when you're talking about chin wagging. <laughs> He's the master, but you talk too much. Yes. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Have you any special talents? Well, I can make my top lip stick to my nose. <laughs> make your top lip stick to your nose. Camera five, will you zoom in on this? Let's have a look. <laughs> it actually sticks, doesn't it? Do you know, if you could do that with your bottom lip, you wouldn't talk so much. <laughs> Is this a string vest? <laughs> so so. Oh, yeah, I can't wear them. I always fall through them. <laughs> anyway, over now to your father. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Where are we? You are Laurie Pithers. <laughs> you are Laurie Pithers. Right. <laughs> Wasn't taking that again. Right. You've been married to Linda for 22 years. Yes. Have you any irritating habits at all? Um, yes, I, I love making lists. I, oh. make it, I have to write everything down and tick them off as I do them. Oh, do you? I even did one on our wedding day. No. <laughs> I bet you did one on your wedding night as well. <laughs> you know, at the top went ditto, ditto. <laughs> now, what's all this about? Oh, yeah, when you first got married, you moved into your flat and didn't have any money. That's right, yeah. Oh, tell me all about this. Well, uh, someone gave us these awful red curtains that were far too long for the window and we, we could only hang them up on bamboo canes. Oh, yeah. And oh. Uh, we were sitting in the living room one night playing strip rummy. And, uh, <laughs> strip rummy? Strip rummy, yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was down to my pants and socks yeah. and the wife was in the nuddy. <laughs> and I was cheating like mad. You <laughs> I lord him for it. <laughs> and she lost the last game and I said, well, you've got to pay a forfeit now. <laughs> and she said, no way. And as she jumped up to run out of the room, her foot caught in the curtains and she pulled them down. <laughs> what happened then? There were a couple walking along outside and who were most surprised to see us. <laughs> well, you haven't seen that couple oh, no. <laughs> in 22 years, but they're here tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but you know, you are lovely people. I think that's one of the funniest stories I've ever heard. That is absolutely marvellous. Thank you for being here. Nice couple again. Here they are. All right. Fine, there we are. Good. Now, our third game is called Smooching Statues. Can we see our statue, please? <laughs> There you are, that's Rodin's famous statue, the kiss. Or in other words, the snog. <laughs> can we have our statues, please? Come over here, you can come with me. Okay, and wait for the, the, uh, the stages to stop. Okay, and have your last look over there. Have your last look. All you have to do is put together the statue that you've just seen, OK? The pieces stick together. For instance, if you think this goes on there, you see? It'll stick on there, <laughs> right? That's the whole thing. So you're going to have about one and a half minutes to put your kisses together, starting from now. And work as a team. Remember, if you can, exactly where was what and what was where. We've got about a minute left. <laughs> it gets worse, doesn't it? As it goes on, it gets worse. <laughs> so there's going to be a bit more than a kiss. <laughs> We've got too many legs. <laughs> Stick it all together. Be careful. <laughs> 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 Whatever you want to, stop. Whatever you want to. Come in.
into the middle again, if you will. And Rosie, take the cloth off. <laughs> right. Uh, one for the head, that's good. Two legs, the man's legs. One for the body, that's good. Two arms, fine. And another arm. So you get seven altogether. Well done indeed, because that is very difficult. <laughs> very difficult indeed. Now, over here... You've got the head, one point for the head, two points because you've got the two bodies in the right place, two legs, and you've got one arm, lady's arm, and you've got the two men's arms. So you've got eight. Well done indeed. <laughs> All right, how about that? <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Now, what's on the board, Miss Ford? Well, Darren and Chris have seven, Kay and Laurie have eight. Oh, only one in it. <laughs> only one in it. Well, now... Our fourth game is called Me and My Shadow. We will show you some silhouettes of famous people. All we want you to do is write down who you think that person is. And play along at home with this. I think you'll enjoy it. Come along. Let's get to our lecterns. You get here. I'll get in the middle of you so you can't see. And could we have the first silhouette, please? And at home, get a piece of paper and see how good you are at this game. Got an answer? Yes, we have. Got a, yeah, everybody got an answer. We thought we might have an answer with this one. Start off with an easy one. Who is it? Yes, of course, Fred Astaire. Now, what have we got over there, Rosie? Well, we've both got Fred Astaire. Fine. And you get <laughs> two points each. Well done, all of you. Right. The next one. There we are. Who's that? Let's see if you can recognise the stance of that person. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I knew this is where the trouble had started. <laughs> okay. Got answers? Yes. Fine. Now let's reveal who it is. It's our Prime Minister. <laughs> John Major. Now, what have you got over there? Well, James Dean. <laughs> James Dean, uh, going back a bit, yes. And Michael Barrymore. Michael Barrymore? <laughs> You'll be thrilled about that. <laughs> We've got Frank Bruno. <laughs> I still can't believe that. And Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I'm sure the Prime Minister will be delighted with that. OK, the next one, please. I knew we'd have fun with this. Now, who do you think that is? Have we got answers? Yeah. We've got answers here. Now, who is it? <laughs> yes, it's the Queen. <laughs> We thought that might give a few problems. What have you got over there? Old Mother Hubbard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> it's only a game. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, what, is, what is the other one? The Queen Mum. The Queen Mum? <laughs> no, we can't give anything for the Queen Mum. But we have got the Queen, and we've got the Queen here. So two oh. points each. Well done, you two. Well done, you two. Right. And the next one, please, old oh, Mother Hubbard. <laughs> now, who's that? And we hope you're playing along and having a lot of fun with us at home. We are. Have we got answers? Yeah, we've got, we've got answers. Right. Who is that? Yes. <laughs> it's Pavarotti. Now, what have we got over there? Pavarotti. Well done. <laughs> Two points for your Pavarotti and... Cecil Parkinson. <laughs> Cecil Parkinson? <laughs> and we've got Winston Churchill. And you've put Orson Welles. Not a bad guess, that, actually. Not a bad guess when you look at it. So just one winner there, and I believe it's the last one coming up. Yes? There again. The stance. All right, don't worry, don't worry, I can read that, I can read that. Right, have you got answers over there? <laughs> right, now, wait till you see who this is. John McEnroe, and what have you got for that? Cliff Pilchard. <laughs> Cliff Pilchard? He meant Cliff Richard. <laughs> Cliff Pilchard for Cliff Richard. Nothing for that. And uh, <laughs> Wayne Sleep. Wayne Sleep, no, nothing of that. We've got Bruce here. <laughs> it was the legs, I suppose. It was the legs. And you wrote Bruce to start with, but then he wrote Lawrence Olivier. 
which I'm so thrilled about. <laughs> I'll teach you the time step probably right. later on. <laughs> All right then. Well, a lot of fun, and we do hope you enjoyed that game at home as we did here. Come along. <laughs> On the board, Miss Ford. Well, Darren and Chris have 15, Kay and Laurie have 14. Oh, one in it again. Been so close tonight. Bad luck, you two. But you will be getting a generous again telephone to each of you with our love, and it was very close. Thank you for being part of the show. And let's remind ourselves who you'll be playing in our grand final. Come on over here. We got a grand final for you. Oh, you'll need a good ear, voice control, <laughs> observation, immaculate timing. Any genius could do it. <laughs> Just want to relax you. Let's welcome that fine entertainer, Mr. Alan Stewart. <laughs> TV has changed quite a lot since 1973 we've still got some really great classics here on the BBC <sighs> they put me back on a tally with better <laughs> <laughs> and into the ratings I zoom <laughs> well, hey, hey, we're still fighting the war camp manager I will do what do <laughs> I'm still measuring inside legs. I agree, but I'm not sure if I've got the right size. Oh, and I'm daring a lorry rally lot. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Look at all these Marvel ones. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, all these plants are not blown up in the sun. Good evening, viewers. <laughs> Yeah, Benny Hill's my name. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, darlings. It's a little spooky, but Madge and I always have a party. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm still looking for the book by J.R. Hartley. So if by chance you fall asleep, wake up in 15 years or so. Mavis Riley will still be in the Rovers and she'll be saying, Well, I really don't know. <laughs> don't forget, Lucy, forget your first prize. Hey, didn't he do well? What's in the board, Miss Ford? Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. The last one was a little cruel. <laughs> More than hurtful, but don't go. Okay. Stay with us because we want you to go right through this. Now we have the vital, vital toss up. So, Jessica, heads or tails? Heads, please. Heads, please. it is. Look at that. It's <laughs> tails. It is good, that, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, it's tails. So, you lost the toss. Do you want to go first or second? I'm not doing that. Second, you want to think about it? Okay, you two go and get yourselves ready and uh, put these two uh, in the Ritz Hotel and make sure someone pays the bill. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're ready now for copycats take one. Now then, here's all your articles when you need them. See, grab them and put yep. them on. But do watch Alan's demonstration first because it will give you an idea of the voice and the face and everything. Okay? Right, thank you. Right, are we ready then? Thank you, Alan. Off we go. Watch it, watch it. Remember, I did Frank Spencer mouth <laughs> Now, what was it I said? Okay, Frank Spencer, <laughs> quick. Now, what was it I said? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jessica, Jessica, why haven't you come to bed? <laughs> The words are there. <laughs> oh, Betty, I've got a bit of a problem. The baby's just done a whipsy in me parry. <laughs> yeah. I think you've cleared another pub. 
And then there was Dame Edna, darling. Isn't it spooky? Now tell me, what is it she says? Dame Edna. Copycats take two. <laughs> All the articles you need are in here, but very important, you watch Alan's demonstration first, OK? All right, Alan, off we go again. Right. Remember I did the Frank Spencer? <laughs> now, what was it I said? Frank Spencer, right. <laughs> oh, Betty, I've got a bit of a problem. The baby's just done a whoopsie in my beret. <laughs> Now tell me, what is it she says? Dame Edna, Dame Edna. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, possums. Dame Edna, housewife, megastar. Isn't it spooky, darling? Good point. Very good. Very good. Fine. Next one. Oh, and then, of course, there's David Bellamy, Andrew Morley. Now, tell me, what do you think of all these wonderful foyers? Well, isn't it wonderful? Nose is belting as a <laughs> to leave it for rapidly grapefruits. Preferred in a flora and fauna. Very good, very good. Happy time. And then we've got Cinnabla. Cinnabla. Then we got Benny Hill, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Tell me, what is it he says now, sir? You talk. Benny Hill, Benny Hill. 
Good evening, viewers. Good evening, you. It's the fourth night. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Very good. Very good. Okay. I'm still being the Rover's Return. Yeah, Rover's Return. Mavis. Well, Rita, as I said to Derek this tea time, I don't really know. I think we came in with him. So don't forget the Brucey. You'll get your first prize with. Do as me, as me. What's on the board, <laughs> Miss Ford? <laughs> you can talk like that. Go on, the next one. Do the good guy. Do the good guy. Thank you, That was better, that was better. Okay, right. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. you. To see you. you. over here and judge this for us. Yeah. 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 a lot of fun, a wonderful game. Quick fun. Now then, our first couple over here, a few comments. Jeff, <laughs> your <laughs> script at the beginning was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen uh, Frank Spencer sort of as loud as that. You know, <laughs> 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 That was great. And your entertainment value was fantastic. It so was, all that. You made everybody and, laugh. And uh, Jessica, you're Mavis. You've got to be a fan of Mavis, <laughs> haven't you? It's like, yeah. really you know, love that. that got the really voice beautifully. Uh, Chris, your voices were all sort of similar. I've got to say that. They were a bit similar. <laughs> but there was enthusiasm once again. And uh, Darren, you, all your voices were great. I think he's a professional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a pro. You would Very good. Yes, yeah, lovely voice. And your Bruce was great as well. Yeah. In fact, the worst Bruce was you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's crossed swords all of a sudden. We've had such a nice, quiet day. So now right. it's the points which we're well, going to be. It was difficult, and we said we've given Jeff eight for his entertainment value, Jessica nine for your Mavis. That was great. That's very good. 17. 17 for that, yes. And we're giving Chris eight entertainment value again, and Darren nine. So we're 17 each. A tiebreaker. <laughs> What have you got coming out at Christmas time? Well, it's panto time now. Oh, with? Yeah. With uh, Danny LaRue and Carl Hunt. Oh, give Dan my love How in Plymouth. That? Have a yeah. marvellous... Oh, I'm a performer, dear. <laughs> yes, it's been great to work with you, really, love even though you pleasure. just say nasty things about me. <laughs> it's you. always a pleasure to work That's with fun. you and good luck for Christmas. Thanks. Alan Stewart! There we are. There we are. There we are. It's tiebreaker. Stay. In your line, facing the front. Face the front there. Now, the first one who answers the question will win. Here we go. What is the world's highest mountain? Everest. Everest. Yes, you just got there. <laughs> just got there. Well done. Well done. A very easy question. You see if you go right there. And we're sorry to lose okay. you. Nobody deserves to lose because you've been so wonderful tonight. But you will be getting a generation game, answering machine telephone, and also a pocket colour television each. And you've been wonderful. You really, you, we can't call you losers. You've been wonderful. That's it. So come on, you two. You'll be having a drink after. Take the doors away, please. Lots of articles are going to pass before your eyes. Look out for the tricky ones. They're more valuable than they look. Good luck for this part of the show. Your 40 seconds starts now. On the conveyor belt tonight, we have a case of champagne, some decorative china, a jukebox radio, a set of Megumi's books, a personal cassette player, a sewing machine, a homing pigeon, a champagne cooler, a stylish shirt, a milkman's hat, a water filter, an electric carving knife, a magazine rack, <laughs> a golf telephone, a bird feeder, a needlepoint cushion, 
a hand-painted box, an electric organ, and a wine bottle holder. Keep thinking nice thoughts. Yes, here they come. Now, come and sit yourselves down here. Right, you're going to get another 40 seconds. Everything you remember, you'll take home with you tonight. OK, you'll get the first 20 seconds. When you hear a funny noise, you'll take over with the last 20 seconds. OK, good luck again. Your 40 seconds starts now. Yes, your 40 Milk seconds. Milk bottles, pigeon, hat box, cuddly toy, needlepoint cushion, um, <laughs> champagne, <laughs> ceramic. Did you say the homing pigeon? The homing pigeon. Yeah, you said the homing pigeon. Right. Um, oh, wine. Books, cassette player, golf telephone. That's it, um, Books, the uh, champagne, champagne yeah. cooler. Yeah. The Gilman's hat. The the cassette, yeah. personal cassette thing. Um, sewing machine, whirl it, sir. The bird drop, the hat box. The carving knife. Yeah. Um, oh, didn't they do well? Yes. Here we are, off we go here. You got quite the end of it. Now, I'm glad you got the homing pigeon, because the homing pigeon is the very latest fax machine. A wonderful piece of equipment. And there we are. The milkman's hat okay. is... a fabulous <laughs> holiday for four to Antibes. Have a lovely time. Oh, yeah. and everyone, and I do mean everyone, thanks for being with us this week. We'll see you again next week. Be there. <laughs>